as often as he has been at this event. The main operators removed on attack were Ying, Dokubi, and Mike. Be so spy surprise with counter aggression. Come on. And they're off for the races. Supernova and Anders. Oh, oh. But all of a sudden, Beast Coast is prepared for this gunner. The first one to fall, finished off by resets inside of Geisha. David down for back stairs. Hot on the board. and Maya beheading two members of the team in Teal. Was Liquid can push the same side. Gavin now being pressured inside a Geisha, both remaining members of Liquid looking in his direction. Gavin one of those hard cases to deal with is now hot and cold by back stairs. Oh. But Gavin gets the work done on his own and round one goes to the North American squad. This experience, like, you have a more simple strat book, but you gotta play other thing. You're on the of the game individually, and then communicate to teammates, guys. I'm hearing sounds of a hero knock, but Maya finds the opening. This is the same that we've seen at Amaya. Oh, look at that. Paolo doesn't have the information necessarily, but the sound could be the finding factor if Hot and Cold hears him, or if Paolo hears him back. But look at this. The discipline, the kill, the run back, if Hot and Cold can survive here. As we see Paolo, he's going to look. He knows there's a player down here. He knows the C4's gone off. He knows Hot's found the kill. Oh. Doesn't matter anyway. Hot's found a second. Will he find a fight? Oh. Yes! A Herculean effort on the bottom floor. And now Lagonis will have to use some utility to try to deal with this Mira. Flashes go out. Last one does get hot. And unfortunate luck. Liquid trailing by one as Diffuser had died earlier on. The element of surprise is gone for the Amaru at this point. Nest position looking into the bar. Not far removed from Terrace. Slow peeking to see if somebody's there. Oh. Shot through the wall by Gavin, who won the round for Beast Coast previously. It's all up to Lagonis. Inside a Dragon, 30 seconds to go. A very tough position as he's spotted by a cam. Maybe a bit of nerves on the side of Lagonis as he misses a default camera. Making his position known now. And he walks through, he's shut down by, you guessed it through those first two rounds, that's going to help Liquid's chances really effectively. Unfortunately, he's the first to die in this round, as Spirits has it covered, staring at that chasm that's been opened up into the office wall. Maya lost, Spirits lost. Both teams now, and a 4v4 with a minute to go. Top floor has been controlled now by Team Liquid. However, they've spent so long opening it that even though they've got the Blitz, they've got the kind of direct take. Maya's dead on the Ying. The Blitz is now for the late round, and Gunnar is still up here. They haven't droned him out of Dragon at all, Nick. They have no drones left. What are you going to do at this point? I mean, you send in Lagonis now, not for the bombsite take, for the roam, because if Gunnar doesn't die, you cannot proceed downstairs to the bombsite itself, and Gunnar is just sticking his guns right now. He's not leaving. We saw him yesterday, 28 and 8 against FaZe Clan. Paulu shuts him down, but if he can outduel Nesk, if he can outduel players like Maya and like Paulu, you are in trouble on the side of Liquid. It's gun skill that often defines this team, but Beast Coast so far have shown that they can fire back. Every round so far, Beast Coast has held the numbers advantage for a sizable portion. Now they find themselves in the same spot. 3v2, 10 seconds left. Lagona's holding Diffuser, but it's oh. This really? is you need like a mini execute, like on Chalet, right? Like top mission and top blue staircase. You gotta clear those shields, force defenders back, or get the kills here. When that small gap presents itself, they don't win the gunfight. Diffusers, do. Diffusers doubled up on. It looked like it was Maya's kill, but Ness gets the job done. Oh. More damage being done to Gunner. It's Ness yet again. Speaking of the previous round, now it looks like it's Beast Coast who haven't seen anything. Fighting shadows across the map. It's a 50-50. I was just about to say, we've not seen it yet inside this game. It was bedroom bathroom. Huh. Liquid trying to go for a, oh, a side rush. Fake me, but Nesk finds a kill somewhere. I think Beast Coast moving a little bit too much there on the bomb side. I mean, if you're feeling yourself and you want to take engagements, swing on to Liquid. If you think you can get that pick, that's huge. If you let players like Nesk, like Maya, settle in, bad things happen to you. Nesk will not be a factor in the final minute of this round as he's eliminated by Diffuser. And now... What little drones remain for Liquid will be so critical in finding these last couple players. Lagona's taking some damage now through the soft walls. He charges into Terrace, takes out a mirror window. Spirits oh. one kill. Gavin swings for another. Liquid trailing. Gavin finished off by Terrace. Maya the culprit. 
All these advantages from East Coast, they've had them every round, but they have not been overwhelming. 3v2 now, final 20 seconds. Flashes to go in from the Dokubi of Maya. Palu working side by side with Diffuser. Not the player, the Diffuser in hand, the case for Paul. As now he attempts the plant, Maya will need to cover. Off and he will go, a down onto Spirits. A read now as well through the corridor as Maya sees yet another. Both players from Beast Coast oh. pushing this angle. The timer runs out. I still have faith in making defense, but they gotta avoid that 5-1 oh, scoreline. Hot gold in a, a peak I see in ranked. I didn't see that <laughs> in pro play. But it works. It absolutely does. And he gambles as the smoke to get the job oh, done. No, oh, no, no, down. Does he had it? Yeah. And an easy follow-up for Diffuser. Once again, not that you're winning rounds, but how you are winning the rounds. Liquid looking to keep this close, but now they've lost resets to gas. 2v3s, et cetera. Yeah, and we've seen the attackers just struggle at the first step of the round. It's a one versus four for Nesk to get the second round on attack for his team. This round is over. I believe this round is over. And if anybody can do it, Ness can, but this round is potentially over. When you're in a one versus four, you've got to isolate your 1v1 engagements. He knows there's one inside of T. He now knows there's one. Oh. Drum finds that shot onto Spirit. This isn't possible, surely, but he is going to take his time. That's the one benefit that he does have is another 50 seconds. I mean, the other, the, the bigger issue, the three players from Peace Coast left oh. are the three best players right now, but Nesk seemingly leveling up with every kill. The Banshee will give his position away, hot and cold with SMG out. Gunner walks in, gets the pick, oh. and now a battle oh. towards the balcony. Nesk with a pick, Maya to swing, two from the similar spot. There he is, that's the Maya that we know and love from yesterday. He shows up, he needs but the fuse is still up. He takes down two players, Liquid on the back end already again. Almost another, but you know how much that SMG struggles. Completely split. Both Liquid players are split. They cannot play together to try and isolate these crossfires. Oh! Nice read on Lagonis through the wall. Yellow ping enabling the pick onto Gavin. Team leading eight kills in the ground. Maya will clean up the mess. They've given up sight. Yeah, it's a great They're ball. Still Just roaming. goes straight to sight. And That's Spirits genius. going for the plant. Do they have reads on it? Lagonis seems to think. Nitro yeah, set. Oh. Oh. It's too late. It's all up to the rookie. Diffuser at a monstrous 2K earlier. Oh. <gasps> shoots on to Maya, another lined up. You go on the map point, Diffuser just toying. <laughs> and he will stand as tall as an American Redwood. 6 1 for Beast Coast. Rounds. And it's Diffuser. With the there? Diffuser, by the With way. With the as Diffuser. Well. Oh, over towards back stairs. Gunner walks up. Oh. Doesn't even see Lagonis as the jiggle peek from the door. Ends the rampage of Beast Coast. Another will come in. And the hands of Maya is hot and is removed. Front line positions. I wonder if they'll choose now to try and fall back and try and just consolidate. They've chipped away at Gavin's HP. It's Spirits to die first. Gavin follows shortly thereafter. Maybe a missed drone. Yep. Palu not know. spotted on back stairs. Yeah. And yep. Pouncing on Gavin, expecting a follow up. Nobody there, though. Calling them up. It's those small things. I mean, they can win you rounds. You get the open pick. Only, oh, boy, wait. Gunner trips back, though. But now, Beast Coast, they're not in the building because they want to be. But the guns on the attackers are hitting their marks. None remaining. Diffuser using full utility at this point. Grenades and flashbangs still in pocket for Beast Coast. But there's been some serious issues hitting these goo mines. Resets jumping oh. on it. Hot and cold and gunner both falling in the same position. Diffuser and Spirits will need to go for some objective play. Diffuser with one immediately traded. And now it's Spirits all by his lonesome upstairs. Surely not enough time. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't time. Reset showing that there's power liquid if they have to in these next 40 seconds. That was a big drone as well. Checking that there is a solace on the board. <laughs> and it's something to consider. And Lagonis with one hot and cold trying to enter. Shut down. Oh. Diffuser shut down. Oh. Hold on. Second, Gavin's making it work. Oh. Off to Nesk and Lagonis, but Nesk leveling up himself. Gunner outside of the building sees the breach. Goodbye to Nesk. Palu is down. Oh. It's Lagonis and Gunner in a 1v1. Searching for Lagonis. Gunner has an opportunity by himself. 
to stun Liquid. Move us to map two. Tearing strips through Lagonis. He has him isolated. Gunner in pursuit. But they're both playing. Oh! Gunner is indeed him. And Beast Coast is them. They take their own map. One nothing for the North Americans. And the band. Are we ready? We start the. Liquid Solars? Oh, yeah. Honestly, if that was yesterday, would have been taken servers. That's why they've been so slow. They don't have all four remaining players alive to work on the same objective. They're kind of split across the map. The Zaban will be using those X Kairos to open hatches. Maya with another kill for Team Liquid. Resets in Maya so far, starting off well. The consistency of Maya has been really quite the sight to behold here in Manchester. As was noted on Skyscraper, though, map number one, you need a bigger game from Paul. He'll be holding oh, down the stairs, a goo mine, the toxic gas, and a shotgun, all working to get rid of Gunner. And now a tussle on the stairs as Ness shuts down Gavin. A flawless debate for Liquid. Once they start going, they can go pretty quickly here. Candela's going in. Is there a follow-up? Yes, Spurs is at the building. Burning some red pings and some Candelas. Nesk is ready for it, though. Complete vision on the swing in from Spirits to Fuser. The first kill for Beast Coast. Reloading. Not just in this round, by the way. The period, because round number one was done flawlessly. Oh. Gunner eliminated over by Lobby. Palu holding that one down with ACOG inside of the elevator shaft. Gavin looking for the follow up. Shot out from too many angles. Now it's hot and outside on Repel. Upside down, a hard angle to hit, but he hits it on to Maya. Now a swing in. Just under a minute to go. Case in hands of hot and cold. All this action from Liquid might make you think the bomb site's upstairs. It's not, it's open area. Beast Coast getting stuck in the mud on the entry. Nesk realizes he can exchange a big portion of his HP just to slow down Houghton. He's still got Lagonis and Palu for backup. Nesk gets the job done anyway. Playing this map versus what we saw in Skyscraper. He was formidable, oh. unbeatable. But so far, no kills through the first three rounds, and he'll ride the bench. The Asami, but they got that work together now. Fire, perhaps, and hold him from the windows. And Maya's blinded. Spirits looks to walk in. He's going to gamble all of his utility. The Capital has all the fire arrows in pocket, oh. all the smokes, and also has so many bullets. One of the beauties of the LMGs, boys, is that he'll almost never run out, and he still has it reloaded. <laughs> Slaughtering the site. Lagonis with another kill. Diffuser will end the round. For main stairs, lobby hands shot up. Yeah, let's go out, but it's, you know, traded the Toxic Babe, stalling up both sides. We see them. They're in third tunnel as well. They want to clear out Paolo. And he's just trying to buy time. Gunner inside a server, eliminating Maya. Paolo right as the blind wears off. A big pick. Nest with one on the Diffuser as well. Liquid getting these kills all over the place, but Spirits drops into Vault. It's all up to Gunner. His position known still. Oh, oh. Has to dance around the fire. And it's an easy shotgun cleanup for Palu. As it comes. Oh, the jump out. <laughs> and Nesk starts things off so well. Run, Nesk, run. Now it's Gunner taking some damage. Nesk attempting to get back to safety. He won't get the jump. Of course. Palu is stuck, effectively. Yeah. There's only two operators that go through hatches, Oryx and Amaru, and oh. Malusi is neither of them. Palu realizes it's swing or be swung. Diffuser wins the duel. The now the advantage is for Beast Coast. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Maya eliminating Gunner. Gunner taking some damage early on. A rough start for Gunner. A rough start for Gavin. They combine for one kill. Gavin looking to break that goose egg but it will now be a goose chase as Maya drops. Are they gonna keep chasing people down here and never attack the bomb site though? That's my big question. The Fuser does find the kill, but there's only 28 seconds left on the clock. You've still got an Echo on board. You've still got a Solus on board. These are two operators that are very strong. When an Execute comes out, the question will be, does Lagonis find himself in a safe spot? Are those Yokai drones up? Because all you need to do is buy time, Diffuser now. With the case, his namesake. Attempting to get the plant, Lagonis looking for coverage. There's one from resets. Lagonis taking oh. that. Beast Coast. Where else out 
on top of the top floor. And you're now looking at 50 seconds. You're now looking at 45 seconds, where it's going to be a very rushed execute, which means for the defenders, even if it was a man at disadvantage, it's not anymore. It was super winnable already. And that was still the same spot that Gavin was in earlier when he killed Palu. Maya dies. Yes, with one on a diffuser. A 3v3. Oh. Nice, Nitro Cell shot out of the air, hot and cold asserting himself, walking up main stairs, swung on by Lagonis, all the while Spirits had picked off one. Gunner in the bomb site looking for more than a single kill in this first half. He's got the diffuser down. It's all gonna be up to Spirits to watch. Spirits leading the way right now with six kills for his team. That drone at the top of stairs still there, isolating Lagonis. Gunner falls off the plant. Nesk needs to stop this, that's really it. That's the win for Liquid at the moment. But Spirits will be hugging the tight corner. This game's a bit too high. Beast Coast wins today. It's taken them a little while to wake up. If you watch that very oh. first skyscraper, though, you know there wasn't much to cheer for. Oh, oh my, hold on. Maybe Jesse was on to something here. Liquid's attack looks limp. It looks impotent. Resets and Palu are suddenly last two alive with a whole two minutes on the board. What? Happened on that entry. They find Gunner walking backwards. A moonwalk and a hot cold as well. Down goes Paulu. It's all up to resets. Does he have what it takes? This is a bottom floor bomb site. The diffuser has been surrendered on the main floor. Boss G. That's a boss G. No, surely not. A lot of damage done to resets, but he will walk away still intact. Making an awful racket. Are they prone together in open area? They're holding hands. I mean, it's super sensible, right? You've got to hold on to the diffuser as soon as you've got that in the man advantage sight does not matter anymore. We'd like to report, by the way, Jesse has not been kidnapped. He is safely backstage. Oh. The hopes of Liquid might have been kidnapped in that round. ...with utility against Fury. In a straight up brawl, Liquid typically does well. But when you're requiring some level of cooperation Isolate those players, shut them down. For example, they have the demos, they got two frag grenades in pocket, that can get them some kills. The difficulty of Liquid is getting inside the building. No shield play, no smokes, only three flashbacks are part of Palu to like the night lights of sight. Oh, oh, what a shot from resets! He assassinates Gunner and Diffuser follows into the same grave dug by Liquid. Hot and Cold has almost barricaded himself out of this position because the advantage Right now in numbers for Liquid, Maya can stick on this spot. 15 seconds to go. Or not. There comes the advance from Hot. Gavin taking out Palu. Maya needs to win this fight to hold on. The defender's cleaning house. Oh. Maya shut down by Hot. Everybody on Liquid who's gone for it to take the site. They now they feel that all those haters are validated in their opinions. Then you make a return and a massive statement. Oh, hold on, boys. We're Woo! off to the races. Lagonis will smite Gavin and Liquid seemingly finding some answers to this defense. On cold now in a 1v3. Flash go out. Hot cannot see. Lagonis has Diffuser down at this point. Three players from Liquid still upright. All searching for the final player of Beast Coast. This has been the map for Liquid, but they surrendered it briefly to Beast Coast. Defenders on the right. What he's doing is he's, he's cutting sight right in the middle. If his team now choose to attack either the left side of the site or the right side of the site, they'll have a numbers advantage. Liquid fight the first pick. Palu eliminating Diffuser, losing the door now as well inside a garage. The ascent from Liquid is a quick one, but hold on. Gavin showing up. Two kills for him inside of open areas. Oh. Yet another. Liquid have just lost the advantage. Resets to swing through. He knows that Gavin is in this position. Gavin might have just given his position away. Deagle out. Oh. Gavin win that, good lord. Traded off by Lagonis, but Lagonis sacrifices half of his HP in the process. They're chanting one more kill. And that's exactly the stakes for Houghton and Spirits. 15 seconds Quiet emerging is all the pressures on Lagonis. Hot and playing keep away for now. They know exactly where he is. All you need to do is shut down this plant. And the two players from Beast Coast will coalesce around this. Lagonis has marks. 
He's running out of time. And an anticlimactic end of the round. But Beast comes gonna do. Slingshot his way up through the hatch. It's a classic face It's been opened up. Gunner throws it in place by the lion scan. They have top floor control and they have side control. And Liquid on this plan B still got a roam clear. Spirits will need to back up Diffuser, but there's Gavin. Two very fast kills. Beast Coast regain that numbers advantage. But there's half of the round to go. Spirits has one lined up. Resets close enough to strike. Spirits literally turns him into the perspective of another player. And Ness will allow Spirits to get away. The great escape. As there's a hatch drop. Winching his way up. Drone goes out. Diffuse. Oh! Holy smokes! <laughs> Nesk is sent it to another dimension. It's all on the shoulders of Paul Lou. And of course, the rookie is the one who acts like the vet. Spirits, the best player on Beast Coast in this match. Here, the crowd helped so much. Liquid looked a bit frustrated. Of course, backs against the wall, but the crowd still believes in them. They've said so many times, when the crowd helps them, they can do better. You need that crowd buff behind you. Liquid seemingly imbued with all of that energy. And they walk in. Two very, very fast kills. Oh. Houghton flicking over. Diffuser first kill. What? Another on the resets. You cannot lose the plot. There goes Houghton from above. Lagonis drops. Liquid now with the advantage. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is the top floor bomb site. It isn't. The bomb site is Tell's archives. Oh. Look at this right angle from what? Diffuser. But suddenly, it's Gavin in a 1v2. Diffuser gets one before traded off. Lagonis holding on to the case. One more use of Grimm's gadget. Three flashbangs for Palu as well. But if there was ever an operator to have in a post plant, or if the plant's to go down, it's the Solus. Gavin standing pat, 30 seconds. This is the quietest the crowd has been all weekend. And you can feel the tension in the air. Liquid with their impressive performance yesterday. To go. Gavin doing damage, but will have to peel off. Looking yeah, for Lagonis to get the diffuser down. Oh, but he can't get through. Oh, not even landing time. A big blunder from Liquid. And all Gavin needs to do is just waste time. Lagonis getting it down. The punch. Gavin through the wall.